Um, I have been a um, MSK physio, uh, gosh, since I started, um, but my background was 10 years in the army, and of course they march and they do a lot of running, so yeah. I did know a lot back then, or I thought I knew a lot. Um, and the, the types of people I'm doing physio with now have kind of changed a little bit, and I needed, uh, I needed a refresher in the running, but also previously I was treating a lot of amputees. So it's funny, I had a good formula yeah. for teaching running with an amputee, but not necessarily somebody who's got their legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, went through quite a bit here, so what do you found useful so far, uh, going through the course? Just, again, just getting a, a formula going, somewhere to start, somewhere, and, and uh, somewhere to, how I'm going to build up my runners, particularly when they've got, when they've got an injury, so how, how, how am I going to start with them in terms of, I know how I'm going to treat their injury, but how am I going to get them back to running some kind of formula uh, back together to get them to that end stage? I always feel that the training bit after the treatment is the bit that I'm missing. Yeah. How do I take it from that low level back to getting them to yeah. race ready? Yeah. So we went through a lot of exercises. Do you think it was exercise with your patients, modifying? For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. 100%. So, and uh, so uh, the, you think it's improved your confidence in dealing with runners from... Oh, definitely, yeah. And I've got a patient that's in my head I saw last week, and she is uh, she's qualified twice now for Ironman Kona, and she's going to do it this year. Yeah, okay. And I really feel like now, with confidence, I could get somebody who's that good back to where or on the right train, back to, yeah. to where they need to be now. Yeah. So we come back quite often to Dubai, so if somebody in Dubai is thinking of attending a course on running, uh, what would you say to them? Definitely, this is the one to go on. Yeah, yeah. help on the clinical. Absolutely, yeah, I would recommend this 100%. It's so practical, that's the thing. And actually, lots of it I can see it sticking in my head, whereas there's lots of courses you can go on and you, you, know, you lose 90% of it just by going home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jenna. Thanks for your time. Um, yeah. I'm an orthodist. I, I specialize in lower limb biomechanics, postural screening, and custom insoles. Fantastic. So, um, how did you hear about this course? Um, working for me, it was advertised as one of the um, CME um, events being hosted here at Northwind, so I latched on to the opportunity to, to do the course. Brilliant, and how have you found the course so far? Oh, it's fascinating, it's really interesting. You know, very often working in our own little clinical environment, we get cut in a small cosmos of our own speciality, and that's very um, if you see a more multidisciplinary approach, specifically seeing that you folks are out of the country, you have a different treatment modality which focuses positioning and it helps tie things together. Fantastic. So if someone was thinking of uh, doing a similar course in the future, what would you say to them? Oh, jump on, jump on the opportunity. It, it gives you that, that, that platform that when you review your pathologies, we know that all these pathologies are multifactorial and at times we can tick off some of the boxes but we don't understand that the tools that are available and you guys um, have laid that out clear, you show the evidence, you're not particular on a certain um, agenda, you can see you're not trying to push something, you're giving that whole sort of evidence-based treatment options that are available to us as, as clinicians. Brilliant being there, Johannesburg soon in Cape Town, as <laughs> you're from South Africa, but thank you very much and uh, thank you for the, the time today. No, it's a pleasure, of course it's been wonderful. Thanks. Thank Information for some time, basically, loads and loads. I think I'm going to have to go away and sort of uh, get my head around a bit more. There's, there's an awful lot of content. Uh, and yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a bit more structured to assessing people. Um, but yeah. Do you think it's going to change assess runners uh, straight away? Yes, yeah, definitely. I think I need to uh, look at the assessment tools and really sort of stop doing what I was doing. Um, I'm hoping you know, we do the gate stuff very shortly and uh, yeah, we'll get a good idea out of that. I think over here they'll, they'll love the, the bells and whistles, sort of blend them with science and stuff like that, so using the, the camera app and things. Um, I'm hoping that we really get a bit more buy-in from the patient actually. Brilliant. If someone was thinking of attending a similar course in the future, what would you say to them? Uh, go for it, definitely. I think the, um, the handouts and things like that are very, very evidence-based and um, all well backed up. I think pre-course reading, you can see how it's sort of dotted all the way through and uh, you know, keeps coming back to um, all the evidence and stuff. So yeah, it's very good. Brilliant, thank you. I'm Phil Pilates and I personally work a lot with rehab, so um, mainly just 
orthopedic, not necessarily sport related injuries, um, uh, hip, back, okay, mainly so knees. Yeah. How did you hear about the running course? Uh, the plyometrics and the running analysis comes in. It's where I don't think I, you know, I don't get to use that within my work setup, but I'll definitely be uh, got a long list of things that I will be doing uh, for myself for coming up. The, the reminder of the plyometric stuff is, is brilliant. Yeah, good reason.